Hmm, interesting. What is it? Well, according to this report, scientists are attempting to resurrect the woolly mammoth. It leads me to ponder, what if they had survived naturally? Then what? Allow me to explore that by addressing an enduring question. What if mammoths never faced extinction? Zoom in! Once upon a time, in the chilly past, there were colossal creatures known as woolly mammoths. These were massive animals as big as today's African elephants but are cousins of Asian elephants. The boys of this species could reach heights of around 11.5 feet and they weighed as much as 9 metric tons, which is like having 9 small cars stacked on top of each other. The girls weren't as big, but they were still quite hefty, like 4 cars stacked together. These furry mammoths were perfectly built for the cold weather. They had thick fur and was like a warm blanket. And they had long, curvy tusks that could grow up to 14 feet long. They used these tusks to grab things, protect themselves, and maybe even have snowball fights. But guess what? These mammoths weren't alone on their icy adventures. They shared their snowy playground with early humans who used its bones and tusks for making art, tools, homes and even hunted the species for food. Unfortunately, as time passed, the mammoths began to disappear due to multiple reasons, with climate change said to be the core factor behind their extinction around 4,000 years ago. Today, scientists are trying to bring these ancient giants back to life, like in a magical story. But it's a tricky puzzle, and they haven't quite figured it out yet. So, let's use our imagination and wonder what if these gentle giants somehow survived. Well, in case you were expecting to see a giant wonder roaming across the cold tundra region, then hold on, because things would have been quite different. Why? Let me explain. You see, woolly mammoths were like big furry lawnmowers of the Ice Age. They munched on around 500 pounds of flowering plants every day. But as Earth's climate warmed over thousands of years, the landscape changed and the icy places melted and the kinds of plants that mammoths love to eat became rarer. So, because of the lack of food, mammoths would have become smaller to survive on a lesser diet. And because it is hotter, they might have lost their fur, making them look more like today's elephants. But the most significant threat these mammoth animals would have faced would have been from hunters who could have targeted them for their ivory. Now, here's where we would have to step in as Earth's superheroes to help them survive by demanding legal protection and rules to keep them safe. But even if we had provided them with all the necessary protection, their population would still have been low because mammoths don't reproduce quickly. A mama mammoth takes 15 years to become a grown-up and her pregnancy lasts a jaw-dropping 22 months. But here's the real question. Should we bring them back? Well, we aren't sure about that. However, what we are sure about is we should focus on saving their cousins, the Asian elephants, by protecting their homes and keeping them safe from poachers. If we set aside some parts of our planet just for wildlife, it would be a win-win for everyone, animals and us. 
It's trivia time! Did you know the woolly mammoth was not the only woolly animal? Yes, the woolly rhinoceros were around at the same time and went extinct around the same time too. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Shivangi Joshi. Hope you learned something distinct today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, for whom are you arranging the welcome back party? The <laughs> Never mind. <laughs>